Did you know that SpaceX actively tries to hire video game developers because according to Elon Musk, sometimes writing software for the space is easier than writing video games? Nicolas Egnida, and today we are going to talk about SpaceX. What programming languages do they use? What operating system do they use? How do they handle errors from space? And many, many other things. All this information that I'm going to talk about on this video, I got from a Ask Me Anything thread that the SpaceX team did on Reddit. So, how does this software look like on a SpaceX rocket? SpaceX rocket runs on Linux. Very fun, open source, and awesome. But SpaceX does not use any Linux distribution. They use their own in-house distribution. Linux distributions are basically Linux plus many other things like Ubuntu or Red Hat or Debian or whatever. They don't use those things. They use their own Linux distribution. And this makes sense because when you work on a rockets or airplanes or trains or whatever very, very delicate project, you want to have control of everything that goes on in your computer. And you want to be able to optimize literally everything. So it makes sense that they use their own Linux distribution, which is kind of cool. Now, at any given point of time, on a SpaceX rocket, they have many computers running, not only one computer running, because that will be bad. If that computer dies, then we have a problem. Instead, they have many computers running at the same time. These computers are performing the same calculations simultaneously. And when there is time to make a decision, they look at their output and all the outputs of these all computers should be the same. If it's not the same, then that means that we can presume that we had a problem called random bit flips. Now, random bit flips is a very interesting problem because it's a problem that happens because of radiation. If your computer is exposed to literally radiation from maybe from the sun, from the stars, literally from the space, what could happen is that maybe a bit can flip. And flipping on a bit means a zero can become one or a one can become zero. But this, it might sound stupid, but it's very, very important. On the binary code, zeros and ones have to be where they should be. If they flip, that could change the whole calculation. A one turned into a zero can change the whole output of a calculation. So that's very, very delicate. Now they solve these problems by having, like I said, many computers running at the same time. If one computer has a different output, then that computer is restarted. Awesome, awesome solution. And I think it's amazing the fact that we can learn about the problems that programmers face when their code is exposed to the space. That's mind blowing, in my opinion. Now, these computers that I'm talking about, what is the programming language that they are using? They are using C++. Why C++? Because C++ allows you to go as deep as you want, as close to the metal as you want. C++ allows you to control everything. And also, because C++ is very, very descriptive on the program, you can run many analysis tools. For example, on C++, you have to literally say, I am going to put this number on this part of the memory. You have to literally describe so many things to the computer, which makes it fast and makes it easy to analyze by tools. So you can take your C++ code and you can run it against many analysis tools and these analysis tools will be able to say when maybe there will be a bug so you can fix it. This is something that, for example, programming languages like Python do not have because in Python we don't describe anything. We just write and we hope it works. On C++ we write, we describe, we analyze and then we can see if it works or not. And we need to understand that if you work on SpaceX, if you have a company like SpaceX, and any error can be catastrophic. One software error can result in the deaths of people. One software error can result in billions of dollars lost. So it's very, very important to use a programming language such as C++ that we can analyze and we can make as safe as we can. Now, somebody asked on Reddit if they use many open source libraries and they say actually they don't. They use mostly the standard library of C++ and the rest they build by themselves. Because if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense. If you are building a rocket or some other thing like an airplane, you don't want to include other people's code. You want to literally try to build everything on your own. Another point of interest is that on the latest launch, the rocket had a very nice touch screens. And then it was announced that yes, they used HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So people were losing their minds saying like, how can you use JavaScript? Is JavaScript is such an unsafe 
programming language? The answer is that yes, they use JavaScript, but JavaScript is only for the UI, only for the buttons, only for the user experience. And even if JavaScript fails, and even if all those screens fail, the pilots do have physical buttons that they can press in case that the screen goes so no, JavaScript is not handling any critical sort of task for the spaceship, okay? And also, something very interesting, they do have a reactive library for their UI, but they, they, it's not React, it's not Vue.js, it's not Angular, it's their own. And again, this shows you how committed they are to literally producing high quality code that everybody understands on the team and that everybody can work on. They are not using React, they are not using Vue.js, they are using their own reactive library. So I think it's really pretty cool. So what can we learn from this? First of all, we can learn that it's awesome to be able to peek behind the curtain and see how the most amazing software is being built, what do they use, how do they handle space problems, and also that even though Elon Musk agrees that C++ is a terrible, terrible language, it is the right tool for the job. And that's what we should focus on because maybe Sometimes we're too focused into which language is better, which language is sexier, but actually, if you look at this language, C++, C++ got a rocket to the space station, and that's impressive. Maybe if you are interested in building high impact things like this, then C++ is your way. Maybe we should all learn C++, because it's the language of the gods. That's it for this video. Let me know what you think on the comments. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to be happy. Like, subscribe, Kamsamnida, Saranheo, eat kimchi, enjoy your life. Bye bye.